Okay, you remember in our first video on text functions, we said the price was always six characters. It was the last thing in the cell. It was easy to extract it with the right function. What happens if you want the last word in the cell? It's not always the same number of characters. So here's an example. This was created before Blockbusters went out of business, but let's suppose this was the inventory that basically Blockbusters had of several movies. Okay, I love Annie Hall in Manhattan. Woody Allen may have done some bad things lately, but still go see Annie Hall in Manhattan. They're fantastic. Okay, Rosemary's Baby, I'm talking about the original Mia Farrow, very good. High Noon happens to be Bill Clinton's favorite movie. Gosh, I don't know why. Okay, but what I want to be able to do here, you don't worry, but don't worry about calling me here. We want to find how many copies of the movie. Find how many copies of the movie the store has. Suppose it's the Barnes and Noble uh, DVD warehouse. Okay. And so here it would be 40, here it would be 12, and there might be a million rows here. Okay, and the trick is once you and how this method works. You can just, if you have to get the last word in the cell, just copy the data into column D and just copy the formulas down or use the Excel table feature, which we'll discuss in later videos, and you can easily solve this problem, extracting the last word from the cell, which many of my students have had to use at companies like Walmart, et cetera. Okay, the first step is to find the number of spaces in each cell. And then you find the position of the last space. And once you find the position of the last space, you take everything to the right of it. So how do you find this number of spaces in each cell? Because every the trick problem is every one of these rows has a different number of spaces. Raiders of the Lost Ark has more spaces than Seabiscuit. Okay, so the trick is simple. You take the length of the cell minus the length of the cell where you replace every space by a non-space. See here I use substitute function, okay, on this cell. Every time there's a space, this will replace the space by something that is not a space. Okay. And so you can check this out with evaluate formula. So you go formulas, evaluate formula, you can see what happens here. So 13 is the length of Seabiscuit 40, and now it substitutes D3, the Seabiscuit 40C, and now it has no space. So what's the difference between the 13 characters and Seabiscuit 40 with a space? and the Seabiscuit 40 without a space. Well, it's one because there's one space. So now I copy this down, I know how many spaces we have. How do I find the position of the last space? This is tricky. This is a use of the substitute function. Okay, we have the find function. And so the find function here, okay, it says I wanna find, okay. So, well, let's go through the form. Let's just show you the whole form, because it's tricky, okay. We want to find an asterisk in what, starting at the first character of what. Well, we substitute in whatever the movie with the uh, number of copies is. We, sub we replace a space by an asterisk, but the last op argument is optional. Here. In fact, let me pop, pull this out here, show you what's going on. Okay. See, what that did is replace the last space by an asterisk. And the, the way that function works, if I go to the function wizard, okay, I take the text, which is C biscuit 40, and then I replace a space by an asterisk. Now, this is an optional argument, okay? If you leave it out, which we have in the past, it replaces every instance of the old, instance of the old text by the new text. But here it only replaces the last instance, and that's the trick. So in other words, if I replace the last instance Here's a better example. If I replace the last instance of a space by an asterisk, and I find that asterisk, I have found the last space. That works out perfectly. So I found the last space in every cell, and then it's simple to use the right function. I use the right function on the cell, take the whole length of the cell minus the last space, I've got the last number. Now, you can just copy these formulas down if you have like 10,000 rows, and you'd solve the problem. So again, the three steps are replace the space, each space by nothing, you can count the number of spaces. Replace the last space by an asterisk, and then find where the asterisk is. And everything to the right of the asterisk is your answer. So that's a very useful trick, using the find function and the substitute function. 
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.